hi once again. Um, I'll let you know now I'm gonna be schwitzing all over the place. Just got back from a bike ride really close to this time, so I want to do my talk on time, regardless of how I'm still out of breath. So bear with me. <laughs> Today's episode is seven this is episode seven eighty six, and the topic today is stop gender bashing. They are not your ex, grow up. And I'll explain exactly what I mean when I get my breath back and also after I introduce myself. So first of all, hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, an out-of-breath cyclist, <laughs> and a relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work, and also inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. And today we're on episode 786. So I've done a bunch of these. And a post, a, friend of mine posted, a post that I saw today that a friend of mine put up on her wall was about how women getting together to support each other have got a tendency sometimes to bash men. And it got me thinking, because I know that there are men who bash women in the terms of equality stuff. So I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna pull that apart a bit and also speak to what may be inspiring, provoking, creating that situation. I hope you're on board, but it's gonna be interesting to talk and, and I got my water handy because I may need to take a slurp or two. So what's been happening, I'm, I'm, speak, I'm speaking culturally right now, but is that there's a personal and individual thing in here too. So bear with me as I go through. So as a societal change we're going through, women are thankfully, thankfully, being more re equal, respected, and honored in equality with men, even though we're very different. And this is the thing that keep people talking about. Equal rights does not mean same rights. Equal rights is different. I should say equality is different because men and women are different. It's not one better or the other, just different. So that's one thing on the table. Second thing is that as part of this coming of age experience that the society is having, there are women that are bashing men because they want women to be stronger than men and they're putting women down to do that. And thank you, Jermaine, nice to see you. <laughs> I'm, I am pacing myself because I'm because I'm gathering my thoughts as I speak, so I can't go too fast, or I'll leave myself behind. <laughs> so thank you for that feedback and reminder. Um, so part of this evolution, this cultural shift they're going through with men and women changing, because as much as women are coming into their own, men have to adjust to that, like obviously. And there, are, and I'm speaking as as a generality because there are very different, there are many different flavors, aspects, and sub facets of each side and it is sides in this conversation so a lot of women who are coming to their own and I, I mean let's go back a bit in the 60s with the sexual revolution that was a lot of, that was when the rise of the feminist movement happened and women became very um, angry and bull busting of men I dated a few of them so I know what it felt like I'm being the receiving it just to be transparent but it still happens maybe more subtly and to be honest and and I'm gonna be very careful about this in the me too conversation there's a fuzziness or a gray area where people, where women, in particular, because it works both ways, women are calling out men, and not every single one of those, I'm, I believe, is kosher. Now, I'm gonna be careful because a lot of women have got a lot of healing to do, and so have the men, frankly, to have a shift in respect because the Me Too movement was needed, past due, and, and even, though it was, even though it was taken from something else behind that. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, Jermaine, thank you. Is the fact that, so, that women have used this time and again generality not all women and most of the women I know are not like this but there's been a certain tendency for women to start to use their newfound power and expression to diminish and disempower men now before you go too far down that path let's speak to the other side there are men who are also afraid that women are taking over so they're bashing women in return and this is not very pretty it's not very healthy it's not where we need to go it's part of the evolution and what I'm aware of in this conversation is that Part of what's happening for some women and some men who are in the bashing mode is they're painting the brush of the other side, sorry, they're painting the other side with the brush of their ex-partner, if that makes sense. What I mean is that some men are judging all women based on their ex-girlfriends or ex-wives. Some women are bashing all men based on their ex-husband or ex-boyfriend. And if you're like this, you know what I'm talking about. There's a tendency to Basically, be childish about this. Let me lay this point out very clearly. We're in a cultural evolution right now where things are changing finally, where women are being, um, I don't know what the word is, not enabled, it's the wrong word. 
women are taking up some more space, they're taking up their own home, their own rights, they're, they're becoming more powerful, as needs to happen. And what's happening is that women are evolving, and, and again, these generalities, and growing into a place of responsibility and a place of equality, as I mentioned. Some men are on board with that, like myself, very happy for this to happen, and in support of it, cheering them on and being part of the conversation to make it easier to happen. There are quite a few men out there as well who are shit scared because suddenly they realize the women that they've been putting down de demeaning and, and making second are now stepping up and they can't hold them back and I know t a couple of men in my own circle of friends who tend to my perception women bash because they feel somehow that women are overstepping their line which i don't agree with that maybe to do with their ex-girlfriends. So I wanna, I'll put this on your mind. So if you're thinking about the opposite sex in a way that is tempting to bash them, before you do that, take a moment to look at your past relationships, your past partners of, of that gender, and see if there is in fact an unhealed wound about that they're using to punish everybody else with. This is something I'm very aware of that we culturally have to grow through as well. I did a talk yesterday, day before, about this childhood imprinting stuff. So I'm not going to go into that talk now. That's yesterday's talk. You can listen to that or watch that if you want to do that. But my point I want to make clear is that those wounds, those past experiences, those memories that are hurtful that you still carry around, don't go away. Time doesn't heal all wounds in this case. In fact, what happens is you just numb them out and you don't think they exist until somebody comes along, usually a partner who you're intimate with, and they peel back the scab without realizing it and suddenly you're hurting again. So part of this is in your personal relationships where it gets triggered. But then what happens is, is in the, in the uh, societal level relationship where you're, you're relationship to the opposite sex, to so being a straight, if, it's, if you're gay, it's a different conversation I would say, I would suggest. But in a straight paradigm, there's a lot of wounding that's still going on between the genders independent of relationships. There are men that say things talk about men behind their backs, um, insult men in some ways, and hey, men have done more than enough to women in the past, so maybe it's maybe in some ways it's a balancing action, so maybe some level is a compliment where women have, have taken the right back to throw back to the men what they were dealt in the first place. But we've got to grow up, and that's why I say grow up in the title, because the truth is this level of play, and it's play acting to be superior, which is the right royal pain, is a sign of immaturity. One of the things of the evolution, I believe, of the culture where women are stepping to their own, I feel, is there's a new, a new level of maturity showing up for women. Women are stepping into a level of maturity and authority that hasn't been seen before in this in mass movement. For women, it's time. For men, it's time to make space, to step back, to be accommodating, and to be um, receptive to this, because it's needed. And so, in simple terms, and I'm just I'm going to summarize this. First of all, as again, on the micro level, the personal level, dealing with your past wounds when you're single, as I've talked about many times before, is the best time to deal with it. Don't wait in another relationship where your upset is going to come up in front of your new partner. It's not your partner's job to fix you, heal you, make you feel better. As much as you may think that's the way to go. I recommend you do that when you're single, which is why I keep talking about it and keep recommending it. And I'll put some links in the comments so you can get some help about that. Secondly, on a societal level, we've got a lot of room to grow still. Maybe in this country more than others, and so much for being the most advanced first world nation in the, in the world, we've got some shit to clean up. There's some challenges we have in the culture where respect for the other gender hasn't yet grown up, matured, and become, or become natural, and we're paying the price for that. Watching what's happening with the insults going back and forward in the government is a clear indication of what's going on. It's happening in the media, it's happening in entertainment, it's happening in religious circles, happening in societal circles, it's happening everywhere. We haven't got it worked out yet, just to be clear. And we have room. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying right now as a simple point, as, a, as a, an invitation, so to speak, maybe, maybe, maybe this is. Maybe this will be an invitation to a dialogue here, even on, even on this broadcast, like in the comments underneath to talk about this because there's something we haven't done yet which is grow up there are people out there who think they're so mature and so wise yet they're so triggered by somebody of the opposite 
gender in some strange situation. Maybe it's a maybe it's a, maybe it's a competitive work environment. Maybe it's a relationship challenge. Maybe it's some other thing that is triggering you. If you're being triggered, you're not mature enough yet. It's time to do the work. Face your demons. Face your upsets. Face the the pain, and heal it. Get the help you need to get there, so that way next time it doesn't trigger you. You become free. That's probably been the overarching message for this past few broadcasts I've done. I've done this to the last th two or three talks I've done. I've been on the area of coming back to healing those wounds, so it's, it's present in my mind right now. So this is another reminder on a societal level and on a personal level. I think that's it. It's kind of a short broadcast, so um, I didn't have <laughs> a massive agenda. I just want to speak out and just, just put this out. It was going to be a rant initially, but it came out as different. So. I hope this has made some sense, that it's landed for you, that you've got some thoughts about this. I don't have an answer in this particular moment. I may come back into another broadcast that has more solution-oriented stuff, but I do recommend it as my invitation and solution is to do the work in yourself so that what happens out there doesn't trigger you as much. That's always the lesson, always the journey, always the growth to a level of maturity. Is when you're being triggered, that's a clue that maybe you're not as mature as you thought you were and you're not as healed as you thought you were. So do the work, get the support, transform your wiring, your beliefs, your programming, your wounds, so you can be whole, healthy, and joyful on your own and in relationship. That's my recommendation and my invitation. I think that's it. This is a weekend broadcast, so it's been a bit more discreet. I didn't plan on doing this talk until I got home. I was literally riding my bike and I just had this, this download in, after watching my friend's post earlier to talk about this more. Just to speak up to start this talk. So first of all, my thanks to Carrie who posted this, the, her meme that triggered the, my thoughts about this that started this conversation. So um, I think that's it. It was one of those talks. I'll put some links in the comments so you can reach out and get some support, get some help. I will also um, let you know that if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day on my personal page on Facebook at 5 p.m. usually. I really tiny it close today so I'm still dri still sweating a bit I got a fan blowing on me and air conditioning just to cool down so I didn't look so bedraggled on camera <laughs> um, because I want to get this talk done on time so if this been of help to you I'm grateful if you have any questions thoughts please put them below this is my daily broadcast I mentioned on my personal page every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby the replays go to my business page on Facebook which is Barry Selby author please like my business page and also I have them saved onto my YouTube channel because why not have a, better, a backup plan. And my YouTube channel is Barry Selby, my name, all my social media is my name. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. Subscribe to my YouTube channel please and watch all my broadcasts there if you want in YouTube format um, or watch them here on Facebook. If you have questions, thoughts about this topic, please put them below. Um, if you want to get some help, either message me or check out the links I put in the comments. And uh, that's it. I appreciate you being with me as always. This is a, my chats usually are more specific on a certain topic. This was more of a, initially a rant that came out the way it did. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me as always. And I will see you again tomorrow. And uh, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.